wanted to become the king. His ruthlessly ambitious wife, Lady Macbeth, urged him to murder his king so that she could become queen. All right, now let's see what you come up with on your papers. Glenn? Uh, Dr. Stevens, you want us to write about what happened after everybody got bumped off? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, and please use the correct word, murder. What's the difference? Dead is dead. <laughs> yeah, you ought to know. <laughs> all right, that's enough now. Everyone have a nice weekend, and I'll see you all next Tuesday. I'd like to speak to you, please. Me? No, Jay. Are you still looking for work? Oh, yeah. You come and see me in my office. Jay. Jay. Hi. Everybody's coming over to my house tonight to study for the finals. You want to come? I can't make it. Why not? Something came up. Cynthia, you want to go out with me? Get lost, bird. <laughs> hey, Jay, wait up. Can I borrow your key? I lost mine again. Hey, I need it back. Thanks to admissions for finding me a roomie like you. Three keys in three months. Oh, look, I got a date. Okay? All right. Really? Yeah, can I borrow a ten? Date with who? Cynthia? <laughs> Only in your fantasies, bird. Good luck. Hey, four is all I got. Four, thanks. What time are you coming home? I don't know, Ma. Oh, you've been a bad boy. Got to stay after school with teachers. Hey, she yeah. just needs me to do some work for her. Oh, you yeah. guys are magic right, things. Right. Have a little class, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A little uh, piece of class. <laughs> hey, knock it off. See you later, guys. Hey, I bet he's going to work real hard. Come on, can we get the hell Sweet out of here? Yeah, come on. Yes, wait, wait for me. I never have a girl. Come on, why don't I even have a girl? Jay, why are you running away from me? I'm not running away from you, Cynthia. Look, I never made any commitment to you. You date whoever you want to date, and I'll date whoever I want. Let's just be friends, okay? You're playing with fire, Jay.
hotter day. Me either. You look as though you could use a break. Want to have a nice cold drink with me? No, I'd better keep working and finish. And you've been working hard all day. I feel guilty if you don't let me give you a drink. Okay, Mrs. Stevens. Call me Diane. Here. Well, come on. You'll have to come and get it. What does it be, Tiger? Pop, wine, or champagne? Beer would be great if you have it. Time to do the inside today? Uh, I don't think so. Maybe some other time. Well, maybe you could do the one cabin only. I can't be late for the gas station. One cabin shouldn't take you long. Come on, I'll show you. See? It won't take you long to varnish in here. Uh, well, to do a good job, I need at least half a day, a day. Well, come on in. I'm not going to rape you. Oh, no, Mrs. Stevens. I wasn't thinking that. These two chairs need varnishing, too. How about them? Yeah, I, I guess I have enough time to do these today. All right, come on. Let's get them up on deck. Why are you so afraid of me? I'm not. You don't like me, do you? Oh, no, I like you a lot. Prove it. How? Kiss me. What was that? Here. Come on. Oh, I'm sorry, Mrs. Stevens. I, I didn't mean to... I know. I really got to go. Don't talk. You'll spoil it. No one will ever know. I really shouldn't do this. Michael finds out. How's he going to find out? I'm not going to tell him. I can't believe this is happening. I like you so much. You ever done this before? I mean, with a student? No. Well, how come with me? Because I like you. Is that the only reason? No. Because I can trust you. How come? Oh, I've watched you long enough to know. When are you getting your car back? I don't have the money to get it fixed, and the guy who hit me didn't have any insurance. I asked my boss for a loan. He says he'll think about it. How much do you need? How about 300 I'll loan it to you. Oh, hey, I wasn't fishing. I know, I know, but I'll be glad to help you. Great. Hey, listen, I won't be able to pay you back for a while. It's an indefinite loan. <laughs> What's the catch, Diane? I want you to do me a favor. So what did he say? I don't think you should use it. Why not?
He wanted to make love to me. Son of a bitch. I can't blame him for trying. I think we'd better find somebody else. You know it's not that easy. I gotta be careful who we get involved with here. I think we can trust him. Really? Well, I think we should wait. Michael, I want control of that money now. You're gonna inherit everything anyway. When? Look, I want that money as much as you, but we've gotta be patient. For ten years, your mother and grandmother have been promising us that if we would cater to all of their selfish and senile demands, then you will inherit the money. Meanwhile, nothing. Not a penny. Only the use of this house. And now they want us out of here, too. If anything goes wrong, if they find out what we're up to, we'll lose it all. Michael, if it's now or never. Remember when I was your student? And you made love to me on the yacht. You promised to take me all over the world if I married you. They were just dreams. We never went anywhere. Your mother saw to that. I had to be available in case they needed us. Michael, I want us to have fun while I'm still young. I've got to get out of this town. I'm bored. Every day is the same. You won't be around much longer. Do what you want, Michael. But come summer, I'm leaving. Look, I, uh, I love you. And I'm not going to lose you. I promise we'll do it. We'll get the money. about it all night. I'm counting on you, Jay. I'm sorry, Diane. But here's your money back. I know you're not doing it for the money. You're doing it for me. You're the only person I can trust. Hello, Jay. Oh, hi, Professor. He doesn't want to do it. What do you mean? Look, Jay, it's no big deal. You just go there and make some noises after they go to bed. Scare them like you're a burglar. So we can talk them into moving out of the house and put them in a retirement home where they're much safer and better off. You know I wouldn't get you into any trouble. What if something happens? Nothing's going to happen. Please, Jay, do it for me. All right. Great. Let's get going. Did Michael say anything about dinner? No, Mother, they're not coming to dinner tonight. Michael has glasses. Glasses? Michael needs glasses? No, Mother. Classes. He's teaching tonight. Leo. No, no. Uh, yeah, Lillian, so Diane is coming without Michael tonight? No, Diane has classes, too. He should get rid of her. I don't know what he sees in her. She comes from a poor family. She's not one of us. Told Michael not to marry her. She's a gold digger. She's not getting a penny of my money. 
She wants to put us in a retirement home so she can take everything over. Over my dead body. I'm writing Michael out of my will if he doesn't get rid of her. All right. Can you see that fire escape there? There's a basement window down by the ground just on the other side of it. I've left it unlocked. You go through there. Now remember, they go to bed at 9 o'clock. It's a snap. Go to it. And whatever you do, make sure they don't see you. I will. Good luck. Just think what we'll do when we take over all this. We'll do whatever the hell we want to do. Just me and you. Hello, George. Hello. Here, let me get that. Thank you. <laughs> I want you to stay and have dinner with me tonight. I can't. You're not going to see Martin tonight? No. George, we've got to talk. It's getting to be out of control. Maybe tomorrow night. Get lost, George. What did you want to talk to George about? Our problem. We've got to solve it. My hearing aid. Mama, you're wearing it. Come on, Leo. Jenny, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be working upstairs. I heard strange noises upstairs. You're not making any sense, but then you never do. And I heard strange noises coming from the cellar. Get rid of her. And if you ever dare to drink again while you're working for me, I'll fire you. George will drive you to the bus. Bitch. Maybe she's right. I'll go check. Get my dinner first. All right. Here. <laughs> Come on, Leo. Let's go. God tells us. And God tells us to be generous. It is not our duty with what we see. It is our duty to share it with Bastard. the
is it? There's no one there. Did you kill it? I wish I had. What? The son of a bitch ran away. Huh? Call Michael. I'm calling the police first. What in the hell are the police going to do? you so early what happened your mother tried to kill me she shot at me with a rifle what did she see your face no are you sure i said no all right i'd better call and find out
Are you okay? What happened? You were supposed to wait until they went to bed. And the dog started barking, so they found out I was in the cellar. Why didn't you tell me they had a gun in the house? I didn't expect her to be crazy enough to use it. She wasn't just trying to scare me away. She tried to kill me. Jay, please believe me. I had no idea anything like that would happen. There's no answer. Doesn't make any sense. Are you sure you're telling us everything? What do you mean? They always call me before they go anywhere. It's not speculate or jump to any conclusions, all right? All right. Right. Let's go over there and find out what's going on. Come on. Come on. Maybe they went to bed early. Uh-huh. They always leave the outside lights on. Mother? Mother? I'll check the bedrooms. Trust me. Mother? You're so nervous. Are you hiding anything from me? No, I told you everything exactly as it happened. They're not here. the TV? It used to be right there. Jay, there was a TV set here. Where is it? How should I know? What, you think I stole it? Nobody said you stole it, but you were the last one here. I was never even in this room. I was only in the cellar. It didn't just vanish. Here's your TV set, Michael. All right, Jay. Tell us the truth. I did. You're lying. You didn't harm them, did you? What are you talking about? I'm calling the police. Michael, wait. They were murdered. Bastard, you murdered him. You're crazy. Look, maybe you panicked and accidentally killed him. They were alive when I left here, I swear it. We want to help you. He wants to frame me. You were here. You were the last one to see them alive. You've got the motive, not me. Look, I'm calling the cops. Jay. Let him. No one is going to the police. We all look guilty. We've got to stick together and find out what happened to them or we'll all be accused of murder. All right. I'm not going to say anything, but you keep your mouth shut. I won't say anything for now, but I'm going to find out who did this. Paranoia is a gross exaggeration of tendencies often found in normal people. Now, many people tend to become slightly suspicious or blame others for their failures. But in the paranoid personality, these tendencies become extreme. In their dealings with others, they become hostile, over-aggressive, mistrustful. And they tend to go with the theory of getting the other guy before he gets you. He should have gone before class. <laughs>
Tell your husband that asshole to get off my case or I'm going straight to the cops. Everybody on campus will hear you. I trusted you. I thought you liked me, but you were just using me and I fell for it. I didn't use you. You're not telling me all you know. Why are you and your husband so afraid of going to the cops if you've got nothing to hide? Because they wouldn't believe us. Because you and Michael are going to inherit millions of dollars, right? But we didn't do it. We didn't want them to be killed. We only wanted them to be declared incompetent so that we could become executors to their estate. You're lying, Dutch. You're the one who's not telling everything you know. Look, if you want to talk about this, here's not the place. Let's go somewhere else, okay? That won't work anymore, Dutch. Jay, please, don't do anything foolish until we have a chance to talk. I wish I could believe you, but I can't. What the hell do you think you're doing? I know what's going on between you and that witch. It's none of your business. Jay? Jay? Look, Jay, I'm warning you. You'll be sorry. See these? I'm giving these to her husband. And I'm going to show them to everybody on campus. These. What difference does it make? Why are you doing this to me, Cynthia? I want you to stop seeing her. She has nothing to do with you and me. Then why don't you want to be with me anymore? Because you want to move in with me. And I told you before, I'm not ready for that, with you or with anybody. Look, Jay, I know you're broke. And I can help you. I have plenty of money. You want to help me, then leave me alone. Well, I'm sorry, Jay. <laughs> I came to see Professor Stevens. He's not here. I saw his car headed this way. Well, he's not here. Miss, I said there's no one inside. Oh, Professor. I didn't know you were here. Hi, Cynthia. Hi, Professor. Cynthia is one of my students. Would you like to come inside? I, I guess maybe some other time. Was there something you wanted to talk to me about? Yes. Oh, yes. But it's, um, it's rather personal. Then come on in. No, uh, thank you, but maybe some other time. A beautiful girl. Hi, huh, Michael. I was just on my way out. Mother asked me to check the house. Have they gone somewhere? Yeah, they went to Hawaii. How come your mom didn't tell me? <laughs> you know how impulsive she is, George. 
That's kind of strange. Your mom always tells me when they're going out of town. I saw her yesterday and she didn't say anything. Well, they left this morning, early. Oh. Well, then I better come over and feed the dog and... Yeah, they took the it. dog with them. They'll be gone a couple of weeks. Then I better come over and water the house plants. You don't need to, George. Diane and I'll do that. In fact, uh, you don't have to come around until they get back. Hey, you've been with us a long time. You know how they are. I know. Your mom changed a lot after your dad passed away. A lot of things have happened in the last 20 years. Yeah, they don't want anybody to come around here unless they're here, not even me. Look, George, why don't you get your wife, jump in the camper, and go away somewhere, go fishing. Well, maybe I should. Dr. Stevens speaking. It's me. Where are you? At Mother's. George suspects something's wrong. You think he knows? I'm not sure, but I got rid of him for now. It's the kid who's going to give us a problem unless we do something about him. Don't worry about that. I'll take care of him. Fine. Hey, kid. What do you think you're doing? I'm trying to get my car fixed. Yeah, well, fix it on your own time. Don't fix it on mine. There aren't any customers. Customers, no customers. I'm paying you. Why don't you go stand by the pump and wait for a customer? Better still, why don't you clean the toilet? Do something. Oh, and another thing. You're going to have to work a couple extra hours tonight. Pedro has something to do. I can't. Can't? I don't understand the word can't. Well, I got to go home and study for an exam. I don't give a damn about no exam. I got a station here to run. You've been acting mighty strange lately. Now, I need somebody around here that's gonna work. Either you get your ass in here, or I'm gonna fire you. Do you understand that? Oh, howdy, Professor. Hi, Jimbo. I need someone to check the oil. Yeah, well, uh, Jay here will help you, won't you, Jay? Come over to the boat. I have to talk to you. I have to work late tonight. I'll see you after work. I have to study. You don't need any oil. Look, Jay, it's not the way you think. I'll explain everything when I see you. Here's the key. Make sure no one sees you when you get there. I have some errands to run. I'll see you in a couple of hours.
Why are you here so early? I thought you had to work. Why do you keep insisting we're involved? Who else would want them out of the way? What were you doing downstairs? Finding proof that Michael murdered them. What kind of proof? Look at this. Thousands of dollars of bills paid by the old ladies to a children's psychiatric hospital in Switzerland. Michael never told me he was in the psychiatric hospital when he was a child. That's not all. Look at this. So? It's blood, Diane. Yes, I remember. He went fishing. It's fish blood. And this is the fish eye, right? Don't be ridiculous. It could be glass from anything. From a television set, identical to the piece you found last night. Maybe it is. Only Michael was wearing boots when he was with us last night. So? So he was wearing these tennis shoes earlier when he murdered them. I don't know where you get all those crazy ideas. I should give you an A for creative storytelling. Are you going to give me an A for this, too? Everybody keeps a gun. It doesn't mean anything. Diane, why are you covering up for him? You're covering up for him or anyone. You don't think I did it, do you? You were with him during the time that the murders took place. No, I wasn't. After we left you, he took me back to the house, and then he said he was going back to campus to pick up some exam papers and came back later to pick me up. Out of your mind if you think I could do such a thing. So then you think it's Michael? I don't know. Maybe. I wouldn't confront him if I were you. He's capable of being violent. Aren't you afraid of him? Sometimes. So what's keeping you with him? I've waited this long. Why should I walk away from all that money now? You think I'm crazy? Take these and the gun with me. Jay! Don't be foolish. If you go to the police, you'll be the prime suspect, not Michael. It's you who I'm concerned about. You were the last one in the house before they were murdered, not Michael. I can't go on living in fear like this. I'm sorry I got you involved. I know you did it for me. I like you, Jay. I wish I could believe you. Trust me. Richard, how nice of you to finally show up. Where have you been? Bad traffic? Bumper to bumper, huh? Dude. Uh, okay, let's cut the bullshit. Come on. Come on, I want to know. How was she? Oh, that good, huh? Shut up, Rick. Hey, where's your beer? Huh. You want the can, too? Oh, anything in it.
scared me. Answer me. I was with Jay, trying to stop him from going to the police. I told you I'd take care of him. Well, I just ran into him. What you fucking? You're drunk. So, to keep him from going to the police, you need to have more meetings with him. He found some blood on your tennis shoes and some glass. What the hell was he doing in the sleeping cabin? I don't know. I was on the yacht. How'd he get inside? He's spying on us. He also found your gun. It's in my purse. did he find? I don't know. Why? Are you hiding anything from me? You know as much as I do. City has some other evidence against you. What evidence? I don't know. But I talked him out of going to the police for now. Where is he? On campus, I guess. Why? my wife this evening. Let me give you some advice. Stay away from her. Can't go to the police, Jay. You got no alibi. You know, I wouldn't take any chances if I were you. Your footprints, your fingerprints, they're all over the house.
to kill me. It can't be Michael. He got home early last night, right after he saw you on campus. Then who else? And the blood is gone. What do you mean? Somebody wiped the blood away. Whoever did the killing must have done it. How could he have gotten into the house? The only other person with a key to that house besides Michael and myself is the gardener. Why should he want to kill me? I don't even know it. There's a strange tie between that gardener and Michael's family. He's some kind of a cousin to Michael's mother. These little creeps. Then you think that Michael paid him to get rid of me? Maybe. We have to be careful about seeing each other. But I want to be with you. My roommate's going out tonight. Want to come over to my place? I'll call you. I warned him. Pythia, it's over between you and Jay. Why do you keep running after him? Yeah, just because you got it on with him doesn't mean you own him. Hey, uh, I'm still available. Something's bugging him. Yeah, he's screwing his teacher. Hey, would you give the guy a break, okay? That bitch, I really got news for her. Guys, hate to break up the party, but it's starting to rain and I'm starving to death. Oh, well, I've Poor got Jay. a doctor's appointment. Hey, I thought we were going to my place to study. Let's go. No, then. no, no, we're going to the pub. I got to eat a pizza. Oh, I'll catch you later. I got to fly. Bye, bird. Go, go. Bye. <laughs> Cool. We don't have to stay tonight, after all. <laughs> Why not? Because I have the test answers right here. Let me see ah, those. Ah, not so fast, not so fast. I gotta run an errand. I gotta go over to the Stevens, but I'll catch you later. Yeah, we'll see you at the pub. Okay, it's nuts. Hey, I want a pizza with mustard and anchovies. <laughs> Is anybody here? Stevens?
after a break now. So if any of you don't like our music, here's your chance to go hang yourself. <laughs> She's a really mean lady. Go call her, man. This is a hoe by now. She called us. Did she come here? She called your lady. Pizza, I need more pizza. Come on. I want more class. I want. You know, I am pissed. I canceled the date for nothing. What date? <laughs> hey, you know, I know, I know Cynthia, and she's not going to show up. Oh, yeah? No answer. I try her again at the old lady's house. She still might be there squealing on Diane Stevens. But they're not listed. Let's go and see if she's still there. We need those tests. <laughs> Good idea, Ralph. Like tomorrow. I'm going home. Yeah, me too. Call me when you find her. Come on, man. I'll see you later. This bird's got a fly to keep. Hey, don't be an asshole. We need to take a break. Hey, forget it. Come on. Please. Please. <laughs> the car's not here. Let's get out. must have money. Big bucks. Why would a couple of little old ladies live all alone <laughs> in a house like this? Who knows? They must be weird. <laughs> hey, hey, I bet you Diane and Michael are going to throw one hell of a party today. Those, those two little old ladies kicked a bucket. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you like living in a place like this all by yourself, Skinny? Well, let me tell you, I'd be scared shitless, <laughs> asshole. <laughs> hey, come on, you guys. Let's go back to my place and study. Good idea. Guys, guys, guys. I gotta pee. Go pee! <laughs> Good things come in small packages. looking for him all evening. Did you check the campus? What's there? Do you 
want me to meet you? I want to find him first. I'll call you later. Okay. to know that somebody loves me. Thought you had a date tonight. Oh, I canceled the go study at Janice's. So what happened? Cynthia never showed up. You see, she has got all the answers to the tests, so they had to go look for her. Where'd she go? Mm, Stephen's house. Why? Look, Jay, I gotta tell you, you know, she is gonna cause you and Diane all kinds of problems. Really, I mean, you got to do something about her. Stevens is right here. Dr. Stevens, it's for you. It's your wife. Come on, she's been calling all night. Uh, Mrs. Stevens, I thought it was him. It's not him. Are you sure? Yeah. If he comes in, I'll tell him to call you right away. Okay, I will buy. Where were you all evening? Are you spying on me? Why didn't you take my call? I was busy. What was that all about? Nothing. Michael, damn you. What were you doing with him? He's suspecting us. He's asking me questions about my mother and my grandmother. What was that envelope you gave him? Some money I loaned him to get rid of him. He's becoming too nosy. Don't bullshit me. You and he are up to something. What? What am I up to? Jay told me someone tried to kill him last night. And you believed him? Why should he lie to me? Too bad they missed. Whoever murdered your mother and grandmother wants Jay out of the way, too. You're insinuating I killed my mother. It could be you, or you put someone up to it. How do I know it's not you? You got rid of the old ladies. Now you got to get rid of the kid because he's the only witness. And I'm next. You got it all planned every morning. It's absurd. Don't try to con me, Diane. I know you. You want that money. Not enough to commit murder. Then it has to be the kid. He has no motive. All right, all right, all right. You keep defending him, Diane. Just keep it up. You're fucking him. Just stay with that. 
do you expect me to do, Michael? I've always been faithful to you. You haven't made love to me in almost a year ever since we started fighting with your don't, mother. Don't, don't. Just, you know, just don't run your act on me. You and I are through. Sound upset. I'm so furious I can't talk. Did you find Michael? We had a big fight. Where's he now? I don't know and I don't care. You still want me to come over? Yes. I'm on my way. Ciao. I wouldn't see her if I were you. She needs me. Yeah? Well, her husband is bad news. They're breaking up. You know, your little hormones are going to get you into big trouble. It's way past hormones, Bert. I love her. Okay, whatever you say. Look, I'm out of here. It's hard to get on up and try again. And I pick up. Oh, hey, Jay. Uh, do you know where the Stevens Mansion is? No. Why? Well, you know how the guys were supposed to go there to find Cynthia? Well, they were supposed to call me whenever they got to Janice's. They haven't called me yet. They said it was somewhere near the marina. I don't know, Bird. Stay away from that house, okay? Okay, okay. See you later, Romeo. Call me before you get back. It means so much just you got it. knowing you're there. Just knowing you care. Your love is enough. Your love is enough. Your love is enough. Your love. was over long before I met you. His mother saw to that. Please hold me. What do you do when the only sound is the beat of your heart tearing you apart with its pounding?
Open this door. I know you're in there. Hey, open up. Who is it? Don't give me that, you little asshole. You know who it is. Hold on. Open this door. I'm going to break it down. She's not here. Her car is parked outside. She just left. Oh, yeah? Hey, look, I told you she's not here. I'll find her. He'll be back. I don't want him to find me here. Where would you go? I don't know. The yacht. What if he goes there next? I don't care. I just don't want him to find me here. Come on, my car's in the back. I'll take you. Okay. Are you okay? I'll see you in the morning. I better go. Please stay here with me tonight. I'm scared. Don't leave me alone. I won't. I need you. You're my friend. I love you. tried to kill me last night.
soldier's truck. He's not guarding this time of night. disease is terminal, Mr. Johnson. Where's your mother and grandmother? What did you do to them? Uh, she didn't tell me I was dying because it's her fault. But uh, I don't think you have to worry about her anymore. You killed them. You fool, your mother was going to change her will and leave her money to you. Well, it's your fault, too. After all these years, I finally talked your mom into bringing you back here from Switzerland so you could inherit the money instead of Michael and Diane. What would I do with the money? Have a nicer funeral? <laughs> no, I, I think you're the one who cares about the money. Put it down, Martin. Hand it over. You don't want me. Nobody wants me. You want the money. Come on, Martin. Hand it to me, I said. You knew I was going to die. We gotta find him. Kids go inside and call the police. Okay. Strange. What? Phone's off the hook somewhere in the house. I wonder why. Son Martin, one year old. Martin's second birthday. Our son Martin and his new stroller, two years. In all these years, Michael thought he was an only child. Apparently, he wasn't. So that was the secret that tied Lillian and her cousin George together. An illegitimate child. He's got to be about 20 by now. And if he's still alive, he'll inherit the entire fortune. Look, it's from a doctor at his school in Switzerland. Let me see. A medical report for Martin Stevens. Signed by a psychiatrist just four months ago. 
Huntington's chorea? What's that? I think it's some kind of hereditary disease. The patient could become violent. Paranoia is common. He's... Terminal. Come on out, boy. Mother told me that if you and Michael found out about me, you'd want to get rid of me because you want the money. So I got rid of Michael. And now I'm going to get rid of you. Come on, Martin, open up the door. Oh, oh, oh love. Oh, oh, oh love, oh, oh, promise. Don't promise me. <laughs> He's 
gone. Where to? On a vacation. Want to drive me to the airport in your car? No, my car needs fixing again. Oh, I think your car drives fantastic. What's this? You're kidding me. No, I'm not kidding you. Diane! How'll I ever spend all that money? I need you to help me. After all, if it weren't for you, I wouldn't be around to enjoy it. Come on, we're gonna miss our plane. Where are we going? Hawaii. All right! See you, Jimbo! You're flying. 